one of the most common issues is when the internet drops. Um, one of the easiest ways to fix that is to simply unplug your dongle and plug it back in. Uh, after you do that, wait a few seconds and you'll see a blue light appear right there with a cord symbol inside of it. So with the receipt printer, when it does run low, there will be a red light showing right here. At that point, all we do is open it up, take the nearly empty one out, take the new one with the paper out, such as this, so that it'll flow over it and you'll be able to see the writing. If it does flow this way, you put it in backwards and it will jam as well as not print. So if you take the paper and put it in over, it is incorrect. It can eventually lead to jams. It also does not print. The correct way looks like this. The paper goes over. With the printer, the I would say the most common issue with that is the Bluetooth dropping. The simplest fix and most of the time is just simply turning it off with the power button down here and turning it back on again. Uh, waiting a few seconds that'll usually uh, fix it and then the cash drawer will be able to open with every sale. So if you're already on your table layout screen then there's the operation button in the bottom right. If you're on your phone order screen it'll be in the same position as well. From there your uh, printer is going to be in the hardware settings, printer settings. So we can see that the receipt printer is right here. So if you have the hardwired one, if you have a Bluetooth one, it'll be down here. And if it's not appearing, we'll click this button right here and choose BLE. And all of your options will show up. And it'll always be printer 001. And then a right here. And a small chip will print saying it's connected with the iPad. That screen and on the phone order screen, there's operation, hardware settings right in the center, card reader. So the eDynamo is a Bluetooth setup, so select a Bluetooth card reader. If it does not appear here, we will simply squeeze the center of the case right here on both ends to lift up and take the case out. From there, there's this button right here. We will hold it down until it flashes blue three times. Now the Bluetooth is activated. We'll place the case back on, select it from here with the green, uh, zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. With the green check mark, we are paired. With that. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it should say not connected. And then we would go back to the software. Right. Go to operations. And double check your Bluetooth connections. Connected. Okay, to set up guided access, we're gonna leave the iTab Go into the regular iPad settings, accessibility, the very bottom, guided access. All right. We're going to turn it on and use a passcode setting. Set guided access passcode, do whatever you want. For now we'll do 0000000, and once again to make sure that we have it exactly down. Now once that is there, we'll go into here, triple tap the home button very quickly, and start. Now with guided access started, if we press the home button, it is locked and cannot be there. If we try to power it down, it is locked and cannot go down. This way, it ensures that your iPad is strictly your point of sales terminal, and that no employees during when it's slow, or anybody else can start surfing the web and eventually slow it down with open pages or tabs. Mm. 
Okay, and let's show how to disable guided yes. access mode. To disable it, we will triple tap the home button once more. One, two, three. Once again, faster. And I'll ask for the code. Okay. And end. Now it still has that. If you ever want to re enable it, you simply triple tap the home button quickly three times and start. To right. change the uh, ink in your Impact Kitchen printer, we first have to open up where you would replace the paper and then take the sides of the front and pop that open. Here we have what is the ink ribbon. So to take that out, you would grab the two right here, pinch it and pull up. From there, to place in a new one, it'd be the exact same one. And we would just put it in, aligning this with that. And pressing down until it clicks. Then we wind the circle to move that. And we're set. We'll close it. Pull the paper through. And do a test feed so it doesn't jam. Thank you for watching. For more information about our products and services, call us today. Start your free two-week trial by visiting itabpos.com.